learning objectives after learning this module you will be able to define the concept of incomplete records distinguish between double entry system and accounts from incomplete records as certain the amount of profit or loss using statement of affairs method differentiate between balance sheet and statement of affairs prepare statement of affairs using given data meaning and feature of incomplete records defining incomplete records incomplete records is a term used for any system of bookkeeping which does not follow or use full double entry system hence an organization here is not using double entry bookkeeping system it is instead using an informal accounting system such as single entry system in order to maintain its financial records using incomplete records using incomplete records cannot give accurate period and financial statements as they do not disclose all the figures and facts there is neither any record of outstanding debtors or creditors nor of stock or of for what receipts and payments have been received and paid features of incomplete records in case of small firms the records may be incomplete due to partial recording of transaction however in case of large organizations records may be incomplete because of theft fire or any natural calamity its features are given below this is an unsystematic manner or method used to record transactions in the cash book personal transactions of the owner may also be recorded records of cash transactions and personal accounts are maintained systematically however no proper information is available regarding revenue gains expenses losses assets and liabilities firms maintain records as per their convenience hence there is no uniformity and the information is not comparable the profit and loss for the year cannot be ascertained accurately the balance sheet may not reflect the true picture of assets and liabilities it involves dependence on vouchers and invoices in order to ascertain profit and loss information reasons of incompleteness and its limitations what are incomplete records incomplete records are records of financial transactions which are strictly not based on the principles of double entry system incomplete accounting records can create problem while reporting financial information to taxation authorities or during financial statement audits incomplete accounting records occur often when employees forget to record transactions reasons for incomplete records improper knowledge records are generally incomplete due to lack of knowledge or improper knowledge this method is less expensive therefore small firms often prefer this method of keeping records time saving as only a few records are to be maintained under this method thus it saves time convenient and need based since no rules and principles are to be followed this method is hence more convenient firms depending upon the need adapt different technique of recording transactions in the books of accounts limitations of incomplete records under this method ledger accounts related to real personal and nominal accounts are not made therefore the trial balance cannot be maintained thus the arithmetical accuracy cannot be checked the profit here is based on the estimation hence it cannot be relied upon 
it does not reflect the true and accurate position of assets and liabilities. Due to incomplete records and books, proper analysis of profit and solvency is not possible. It is very difficult to detect the errors and frauds under this system. Under this system, legal requirements are not complied with. Therefore, taxation authorities and other agencies are not satisfied with such records made under single entry system. Ascertainment of Profit and Loss Incomplete Records Definition The term incomplete records refer to a business scenario wherein an organization is not using double entry system for maintaining its books of accounts. Accounting from incomplete records This method of accounting from incomplete records is a mixed system of recording business transactions. It involves some business transactions being recorded as per double entry system and some being recorded under single entry system. Ascertaining profit and loss Profit and losses need to be ascertained in a business in order to know the results of business operations. Hence, financial statements are made to know the gains and losses of a business during a particular period, know the closing balance of assets and liabilities at the end of a given period, determining the financial position of the firm. The main concern is ascertaining the profit and loss of the company for a given period with the help of incomplete accounting records. This is possible with help of the following two ways. 1. Net worth method or statement of affairs method. This involves preparing the statement of affairs as at the beginning of accounting period and at the end of the same accounting period. 2. Conversion method. This includes preparing trading and profit and loss account as well as the balance sheet. Ascertainment of profit and loss thus involves Preparation of statement of affairs Preparation of trading and profit and loss account and the balance sheet. Preparing statement of affairs Statement of affairs and introduction A statement of affairs is a statement of assets and liabilities which is prepared to find out the financial position or capital of a business where accounts are not maintained as per the double entry system. In other words, it is a statement of capital, liabilities and assets. Statement of affairs is prepared under the single entry system in order to find out the amount of opening or closing capital of the business. Statement of affairs method the statement of affairs method compares transactions at the beginning period to transactions at the ending period to calculate profit and loss. If assets exceed liabilities, this represents a positive capital position for the company, which is a profit. On the other hand, a loss has occurred if liabilities exceed assets when comparing the beginning and ending affairs of the business. Preparing the Statement of Affairs Statement of Affairs is prepared like balance sheet. All the liabilities are shown on left-hand side, whereas all the assets are shown on right-hand side. The difference between the total assets and total liabilities is considered as the amount of capital. Thus, it is expressed as capital is equal to total assets minus total liabilities. Amount of items such as fixed assets, outstanding expenses, bank balances, etc. that are included in the statement of affairs are ascertained from the relevant documents and physical count. After the amount of capital is calculated, 
both as at the beginning and as at the end of a given period with the help of statement of affairs a statement of profit and loss is prepared to calculate the amount of profit or loss made during that given period difference between statement of affairs and balance sheet defining statement of affairs and balance sheet a statement of affairs is known as a statement of capital liabilities and assets it is prepared under the single entry system with the purpose of finding out the amount of opening or closing capital of the business in order to determine the amount of opening capital the statement of affairs is prepared on the opening date the statement of affairs is prepared on the closing date for the purpose of determining the amount of closing capital it is also known as the balance sheet of single entry system a balance sheet is a statement of a company showing assets liabilities and equity this statement is based on double entry system of bookkeeping format of statements of affairs the left hand side of the statement of affairs includes all liabilities and the right hand side includes all the assets if the total of liability sides is more than the total of asset side it shows the debit balance of capital difference between statement of affairs and balance sheet one objective the main objective of statement of affair is to find the opening and closing capital in single entry system however the objective of a balance sheet is to show the financial position of an organization two omission in a statement of affair omission of assets and liabilities cannot be found easily but in a balance sheet such mistakes can be easily traced 3 reliability statement of affairs is less reliable as it is prepared from incomplete accounting records whereas a balance sheet is more reliable as it is based on double entry principles preparing trading profit and loss account and balance sheet defining trade account profit and loss account and balance sheet 1 trading account it is an account which is prepared to know the gross profit or gross loss of a business concern 2 profit and loss account profit and loss account also known as profit and loss statement is a statement which shows the net profit or loss of a business that has been made within an accounting period after deducting all expenditure from the income balance sheet it is a statement of the financial position of a business which states the assets liabilities and owners equity at a particular point in time preparing trading account trading account is the first step in the process of preparing final accounts and is prepared with help of trial balance contents of trading account opening and closing stock of raw material semi finished goods and finished goods purchases of goods less returns sales of goods less returns all direct expenses which are directly related to purchases or sales or manufacturing of goods preparing a profit and loss account just like trading account the profit and loss account is maintained with help of trial balance this account is divided into two parts income expenditure contents of profit and loss account gross profit or gross loss brought forward from trading account all indirect incomes all indirect expenditures net profit preparing a balance sheet 
Balance sheet shows following contents. Details of all assets. Details of all liabilities. Net profit or net loss. A balance sheet is also prepared with the help of trial balance and is divided into two parts. Liabilities. Assets. Ascertaining credit purchases and sales. Knowing the term incomplete records. Double entry system is the system in which both aspects of a transaction are recorded. However, single entry system is an incomplete double entry system. This means that when rules of double entry system are not strictly or completely followed, it is a case of incomplete records. Under the incomplete records, both the aspects of transactions are not recorded. Some books of subsidiary records and some ledger accounts are not kept with otherwise are required under the double entry system. Thus, incomplete record system is not a particular system of accounting but rather double entry system is an incomplete and disjointed form. Hence, incomplete record system is a method or a combination of methods employed for the recording of transactions, which ignore the twofold aspect and therefore fails to provide the information required to ascertain the financial position of a business. Ascertaining credit purchases. In general, the credit figures are not available in incomplete records. Therefore, total creditors account is prepared to find out credit purchases or any other missing figure related to creditors. This figure is the ascertained balancing figure. Ascertaining credit sales. Credit sales figures are generally not available in incomplete records. In addition, some other information regarding debtors may be missing. Hence, total debtors account is maintained to find out credit sales figure as well as any other missing figure. This figure is traced out as a balancing figure. In order to get net credit sales, it is important to deduct sales return from the gross credit sales as certain from total debtors account. As certaining of bills receivable and payable and missing information. As certaining bills receivable and bills payable. In certain situations, all the details related to bills payable and bills receivable are available, however, the figures of bills, payable and bills receivable are not available. In these situations, total bills payable account and total bills receivable account is made and the missing figures are ascertained as the balancing figures. Format of total bills receivable account. This account has two sides, debit and credit. Each of its sides has following column as listed here. Date, Particulars, Journal Folio or GF, Amount. Format of Total Bills Payable Account Just like Total Bills Receivable Account, the Total Bills Payable Account also has two sides, Debit and Credit. Both debit and credit sides have following columns. Date, particulars, journal folio, JF, amount. Ascertaining missing information through cash summary. In some of the cases, amount received from debtors or amount paid to creditors may be missing. In addition, at times closing cash 
or bank balance may also be missing. In order to ascertain such missing item of payment or receipt, a cash book summary is made. This cash summary shows all payments and receipts during the year and the balancing figure is taken as the amount of missing item. Whereas, in case if both amount received from debtors or amount paid to creditors are missing, then one of these can be ascertained through the total debtors account or total creditors account. Then, the other missing information is ascertained from cash book summary. Once missing figures are ascertained, the final accounts are then prepared either directly or after the preparation of trial balance. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Accounting process from incomplete records explains how single entry system is different from double entry system. Features of incomplete records and their limitations aims at introducing the method of ascertaining profit or loss using the statement of affairs method. The term incomplete records refer to a business scenario wherein an organization is not using double entry system for maintaining its books of accounts. Profits and losses need to be ascertained in a business in order to know the results of business operations. A statement of affairs is a statement of assets and liabilities which is prepared to find out the financial position or capital of a business. A balance sheet is a statement of a company showing assets, liabilities and equity. This statement is based on double entry system of bookkeeping. Trading account is prepared to know the gross profit or gross loss of a business concern. Profit and loss account shows net profit and loss of a business that has been made within an accounting period after deducting all expenditure from the income. Balance sheet is a statement of the financial position of a business which states the assets, liabilities and owner's equity at a particular point in time.